Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. So today we got in um, a deal, a foreskin for the new truck. So what we got here, we've got a 2020 um, Power Stroke trimmer model and we're gonna be using the foreskin. We're gonna be plugging it in. We're gonna be changing a few of the parameters in the computer. We're gonna try to get rid of a few things. The triple ding, this one here. We're gonna to try to get rid of that. We're also gonna to try to get rid of, oh, there's the radio. We're also gonna to try to get rid of the double honk when you close the doors, when you, if you leave it running, you hop out and you close the door and the key fob's in your pocket, double honk. We're gonna to try to get rid of that. We're also going to try, oh, turn that off. What we're also gonna to try to do is add above these things here. Um, we're gonna to try to get the actual temps on those. Turn this off, okay, okay. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. Um, and then of course, on here, what we're gonna to try to do is the navigation doesn't work when you're in motion. So we're gonna to try to get that set up so that when my wife is over here um, and we're driving somewhere and she wants to try to type it in, we can tr we can do it on the truck instead of maybe on the phone um, and do it that way. We're also gonna to try to get um, this stuff down here, which are the heated seats. <sighs> Excuse the mess. But the heated and cooled seats, we're gonna to try to get that up here on the display also. Um, on the climate deal. We're gonna to try to get that up here or, or at least maybe even... wrong button. So even on, maybe even on the home screen right here, maybe we'll try to get it, you know, set up on there. So, um, but yeah, this is, this is the truck, man. Um, so far really liking it. It's got the, uh, what they call it, the panoramic sunroof or the dual pane sunroof. That's really nice. We've got all of our auxiliary switches here. Um, not quite, 100% sure what I want to do um, on all of those quite yet, but I do have some ideas. I do want to add some onboard air. Um, you know, we got to have a train horn, right? I mean, we're in Texas. I mean, why not? Got to have a train horn, big truck, big horn. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna work on something like that. Also need to add some auxiliary lights, some backup lights, uh, maybe some lights on the bumper or uh, extra fog lights, things like that. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we're gonna work on today. So let's go ahead and hop into this. I've got the laptop here. I've got my cable and I've got all the Forescan information downloaded onto my laptop. Um, and so we'll get that uh, turned on. We'll get this thing reset. We'll get our camera reset and then we'll get this thing started. So let's get after it. All right, so hopefully we can see this and we've got this We've got this on right down here. I have got, these are all of the, like all the little settings, you know, your, your boot an animation, which is going to pull up on your splash screen here. And you've got different options, you know, for, for what you can choose. Um, you know, you got the, let's zoom in here. So you got the ST, the RS, the Ford GT, you know, Lincoln stuff, probably going to, probably going to add this Ford Performance one. I'm not quite 100% certain what it's going to look like because I hadn't seen it in my actual truck. I've seen a few different variations, um, but you know, maybe something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, we're going to try to install a couple of these things. Um, you know, you can reset your, your tire size, your TPMS. If you want to use a, a different air pressure, you've got that as an option. <clears throat> Remote start if it doesn't have it already. Um, so here's a few of the things that I want to do. So we've got what's called Bambi mode. I'm gonna highlight this whole thing, if you can see it. So Bambi mode, basically what that does is it allows you to have your high beams and your fog lights on at the same time. Right now, when you turn the fog lights on and your regular headlights on, it's no problem. As soon as you turn your brights on, well, your fog lights turn off. This one right here is a reminder because sometimes these fog lights automatically turn themselves off when you turn the truck off. Uh, and this will re remember that it was on at last go. So basically the last time you turn it off, when you turn the truck back on, your fog lights stay on. 
this one right here these are your daytime running lights those are the lights on the around the outside of the of the headlight and i'll go out there and i'll show you what those are um, but this is at full brightness so those will stay on maybe a little bit extra light <clears throat> so let's let's hop out there so you can kind of see what i'm talking about so let me turn these headlights on here there they are that stinking horn honk these right here of course it's flashing because it's uh, an led and it's on camera but see my fog lights aren't on so we'll come over here turn them on and they're still not on okay maybe we have to start the truck let's start the truck all right so now we do have them on so you can see fog lights are on headlights are on now we're going to come over here and we're going to turn the brights on and i'll show you what happens so boom the brights are on no fog lights but our brights are on so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get in there and, and change that up that way you know we just have a little bit extra light um when we've got that stuff you know driving down the road at night you know hopefully have a little bit better lighting situation so we've got the truck we just shut it off and let's get to playing dropped you all right so here we go open this up now all of the videos that i've seen you know with something similar to these right here make sure it has the switch because it has see if we can get this to focus Anyways, it's got HS and MS. So what I've heard some people say, you've got high speed and then medium speed or something like that. Uh, but it's something different to um, to plug in, you know, for the different kind of um, modules that you have in your truck. And this will work on pretty much any Ford uh, vehicle. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly you know every, every vehicle is going to be a little bit different so you know they're going to be well they're going to be different um i would like to see if there's anything i can do for uh for snowflake over there my uh 97 power stroke i don't know there's not a whole lot of stuff going on in that truck i mean as far as computer wise so we're going to go ahead and let's get this plugged in All right, so that's plugged in. We're going to come over here. So we've got, oh, so we've got our four scan. We've got our deal opened up. So right now we're going to come down here to this. Oh, no, we're going to go here. Where am I at? Okay, sorry. So you're going to go up to the top. And you're going to come down here and you're going to hit connect to vehicle switch the key to the on position and if you have the hs and ms can switch on the elm 327 if available is it in hs position well we need to figure that out so flip the switch to hs vehicle is not moving checking Wi-Fi ELM not found all right well I don't know what's going on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're restarting our little laptop here try to get this figured out but in the meantime I'll scroll through a few pictures that I've taken a little video um, of some pictures of the outside of the truck maybe some of you guys have seen the 
uh, trimmers. Maybe some of you haven't, so let's roll it. So everybody, this is Earl. Meet Earl. 2020 trimmer. Looks better with them fog lights on. Let me click those on. So here we are we're back finally so figured it out what it was is that the drivers the drivers that we had installed needed to be updated and we needed to download and install some new drivers so that's what we did um, in our hiatus so um, I've gone back into um, a website that I get on for the trimmers and it's a uh, for trimmer.com um, lots of thanks to these guys they have been there answered a ton of questions for me anyways you log into their website you can you can um search for four scan um for 2020s and then they'll have a little spreadsheet and then this is that spreadsheet that we were looking at earlier so what we're going to do is now that we've got this here we're going to go ahead oh wrong one and yeah, we'll close this one i don't know why i got so many open we're going to go ahead and open up our four scan so we're gonna do this, turn the vehicle on. Yes, I tried it just to make sure it worked. So yes, this is the same truck. LM. Yes, it does have the switch. Can you switch it from HS to MS? So down here, MS. And then we're gonna come back over here and click Okay, and now it's pulling up all these other modules. Let's get you guys in here. Hopefully that's coming through. So let me scoot you back over here. I'm gonna adjust you a little bit. Okay, so these are all the ones that they found so what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and we're going to look at this stuff here so right here we have got heated and ventilated seats icons on home screen so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the apim and we're going to look for this one right here so we're going to go back over we're going to pull this up and we're going to go I think it's, oh, I think it was there, here, and we're looking for APIM, and we're going to click on the as built, and we're going to come down here, we're going to hit run, now, I've got to switch it back to HS mode, and then go over here and hit OK. Okay, um, just a little warning. Get on here, change the configuration can potentially not be safe. Encourage value written, yada, 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 yada. Hit okay. And so what we are looking for is the 7D0101. So it's this first one right here. And it's going to say... Let's see. So on our third set of numbers, so you got one, two, three. So you got one, two, three 
ours is a zero zero nine one Let's see if you can see that zero zero nine one hopefully it'll focus maybe i can't really tell if it is or not anyways just take my word for it zero zero nine one is where it's at and what it's saying is cooled seats on screen no heated seats or heated wheel heated and cool no heated wheel option so we've got heated and cooled seats on the screen we do not have a heated steering wheel heated seats on screen no cooled seats no heated steering wheel no on screen unknown um so right now ours is a zero let's figure out what zero is maybe that's just the default let's see here so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to change this from a zero to a two and then we're going to hit right yes and then you see the truck is doing things it's resetting and this is programming successful please cycle engine ignition off and on so we'll turn it off we'll turn it back on and let's see what happens boom there you have it how cool is that so you can turn your air your ac on the seats you can turn the heat on that's pretty cool maybe because the truck's not running there we go so you got the air you got heat and there's the passenger side also that's pretty dang cool so yeah so there's one all right let's move on to the next one all right here we go we got boot animation and so i i don't know it's not a raptor but i think the raptor would look cool on here so let's find we're going to go back to the apim and this is what we're going to look for this time okay and this time we are looking for 700201 and that's this one right here and we are going to change that so right now 0201 let's scroll sorry guys i'm trying to do this left-handed and i'm not very uh i'm not a left-handed person so so right now 0201 is where we're at 0201 0201 and it's saying that it's going to be the second set of numbers so right now we're five 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 three zero one zero three we don't worry about the rest so zero one is going to be the default which for some reason i am not seeing in there but um so we're going to go down to ford performance and we're going to change that from one zero or from zero one to one zero just like that and let's see what happens We'll hit right on that. And let's see what happens. Let's see if this changes. Oh, hell yeah, that's cool. I don't know. I might keep that one for a little while. Just to see. I mean, why not? It's different. I like it. I like it. Let's keep it. And then... Let's see here. We don't need to change the Bluetooth name. TPMS. Okay, here we go. Bambi mode. Let's see, we got 
Bambi modes, fog light, remind, remember, DRL, DRL full brightness with headlights, double horn honk without key, secure idle, um, and that. So let's. That's all going to be in our body control module. So we're going to come back in here. We'll open this up. What we'll do is we will hit stop on this one. We'll go back to our configuration, and right now we're going to look at our body control module which is what all of this other stuff is let me get this you can see it right here body control vcm so we're going to go over here we're going to hit play potentially not safe okay guys i am not stress not a very good computer guy and this is making me nervous as hell because it's an expensive truck and I'm over here playing with stuff. Um, but luckily what I did is I saved the original program. So if something happens, I can go back in and just reset it to the factory settings. So that being said, I I'm not overly concerned. I am stressed out a little bit about it, but, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully we get everything we want. So, um, yeah, let's get back at it. All right. So now that it's pulled back up, so we have got, we've already got remote start, Bambi mode, 726-3939. So we're going to go over here, 726, it's going to be down there a ways. 726, come on, 39, 726, 3902. 3902 here we are this is it right here and what we're going to change i'm gonna scroll up here some because i'm going to scroll this down i'm going to bring this down here so we can see it oh crap all right 726-3902 and here it is here so on our first letters or our first numbers we are 0101 and so what we're going to do is we're going to change our last number because we want to enable it so we're going to change that from a one to a zero and we'll hit actually we've got a few things in here we're going to do so we've got that and i'm going to go down to okay so it's going to be in the same one we want to use the same we want the, to remember to um, keep the fog lights on so it's going to be oh it's already there I don't know for some reason mine keeps turning off so we'll uh we'll, we'll let it roll and see what happens we can always come in here and change it and then we're going to do um, drl full brightness with headlights so 726 4201 this one here scroll up so we can see it so it's going to be i'm going to highlight Maybe you guys can see it better there. Okay, so 726-4201, 726-4201. And we're going to change this from 0303 to 02. And then we're going to go down to 726 six three zero two and that's going to be our double horn honk seven two six seven two six six three six three zero two seven two six six three zero two so that's that one seven two six let's highlight it make sure we got the right info and so yeah seven two six six three zero two 
we are going to change that one to a zero. Zero. And that's it. Let's and we will check check those things off. Let's go ahead and write all. And we'll hit so you can see we've done three different mods. And we'll go ahead and click yes. Yes, and we'll see what happens. Truck's probably gonna flicker and make noises. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and off. And then on. So I've got the key fob. I've got the key fob in my pocket. I'm out of the truck. Let's shut it. Oh, oh, oh man, no horn honk. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. So we have got we've got the headlights on and the fog lights on. Now Let's go ahead and turn our brights on. See, because right now you can see on our screen the brights are not on. So we're gonna pull it forward. Oh, push it. And now our, our brights are on. Let's go check it out. Yep, absolutely. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Driving into work at night down a two lane highway. That's gonna be that's gonna be real nice to be able to see what we got going on. So, driver door ajar. All right, let's go find. Let's let's go find all these other beeps. Here we go. Disable door chime. So we're gonna stop here because we got we're we were in the body control module. We got to go to the ICP or IPC, so we'll go down, IPC module, play, switch to MS, done deal, hit OK, hit OK, all right, and here we are. Let's drag this down. So here's where we are, triple ding, 720-0102. Right here is where we're at. And so what we wanna do is we wanna change this number. Let's see here. One zero two. We want to change that from a zero to a two. And let's go ahead and write that. Look, it's doing its thing. There's no door chime. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, why Let's see if we've got another Autofold Lincolns. We already have that. That's the standard feature on these models. Um, okay, well, what we'll do is, in the meantime, we'll go back into IPC. So we're going to look at temps on gauges. 
So again, it's going to put it on these things up here. Um, I don't know why the turbo's back over there. We'll get that switched out because I like having my uh, DPF up there. So let's see here. Temps on gauges. 0701. We're going to change this to A5. I don't know why it was had a brake controller on there. Let's see what happens here. Yep. See that? See that? So that makes it nice. Oil. I wish you know. I guess you only have to. That's oil pressure, uh, so it's not temperature. But that's going to be nice because I'll be able to see where I'm at. You know, in the mornings because sometimes it gets kind of cold here in North Texas. So. You know in the mornings and stuff like that all right so that's cool um now dpf on screen let's see here so there's a bunch of notes over here so let's go to zero seven zero two which is this one here so it's going to change the second number in the first set. So mine's at 7. And it says, if 7, then put F. So we're going to put F there. And F. And then we'll write. Hit OK. Yes. All right. This thing's doing its thing again. Okay. okay. Now, let's see. Engine information. Looky there. Fluid gauge. That's that one, and then you got this one. So it tells you I'm 50% full. So that'll help you, you know, keep an eye on your on your region um, and things like that. So, guys, it looks like we've only got about 5% of my battery left. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can grab another battery. Hopefully it's charged. Give me a moment. I'll be back. Okay, here we are, back with a fresh battery fresh battery all right so this is our signal flash count um this is kind of neat because right now when you just it only does it three times if you just barely touch it now when you have a trailer on there and you do it it automatically adds two extra blinks so what we're going to do is i want to make sure that i've got enough blinks that when i am changing lanes that i'm completely in the lane instead of having to i don't know maybe it's lazy i don't know instead of having to Hold the blinker up and then turn the blinker off or you know that way you don't forget about it so here this one signal flash count and this is where we're at seven two four zero one zero one zero one zero one and we're going to change this second number which is a six um we're going to change that number let's see here see six is three flashes so I'm going to change it to E to get seven flashes. So I'm going to change from 4.6 to 4E just to make sure I'm on the right one. Hit right. Yes. Now this whole thing's probably going to turn this off. off man that's so cool back on hey no door chimes 
So now let's see what happens. Three, four, five, six, seven. Sweet. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm liking that. And now there's one more that I want to do. Man, I really got to find out about this turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Because that is supposed to be able to... Um, because right now when you're driving down the road, you can't, you can't use it if you're driving down the road. Oh, guys, uh, also fuel tank size. If you get like a Titan tank or an SMB tank, um, SMB from my understanding has been pretty cool and they'll send you a, um, they'll send you a, uh, an easy link and the easy link you can plug into your computer and you can tell it what size tank you went with. So uh, for the short wheel base, you go from like a 34 gallon tank, uh, I think is what it is, to a 60 gallon tank. And then on the long bed, you can go to an even bigger tank. So on here, it allows you to change that as well. So whether you got a Titan tank or you got an SMB tank and you don't have the easy link or they don't provide you with an easy link to use, then you can use this as well. And you can use fuel tank size. And this is what you do. This is where you're at. So what you'll do is if you go to the 60 gallon tank, this is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna change. So this will be an eight and this would be a D and an F. So so that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Global open, global close. Um, what this will do is right now you can you can roll the windows down with your remote, um, but you can also roll them up with your remote um, if that's something that you wanted to do. Um, let's go look at this, uh, secure idle. So what that secure idle is, is if I get out of the truck and I don't leave it locked, or if I don't lock it, somebody isn't supposed to be able to come in here and, you know, put it in gear. They shouldn't be able to do that, right? Um, so that's one thing I would like to do. Why are you honking? Tell me the door's open. So, looks like they've even got, on here they've got, so this is on their website. This is um, uh, FordTrimmer.com, and they've got the four scans for 420s. These are the popular changes. Uh, four scans for the 2020s, not for the 420s. Come on. Of course, I'm outside, and again, this is a slow computer. New to the forum. Oh, what in the world just happened? Okay, here we go. Double honk. Uh, fog lights with high beams. Chimes the vehicle running. Um... With the door open, splash screen animation, temp gauges, navigation in motion, text to. All right, well, let's see if we can, let's see if we can figure that out. Let's, um, well, let's, let's close the door and see what happens when we open it. Okay. All right, well, let's see if we can if we can change that. So let's, we'll open this up. Oh, I don't want to make you big there, little guy. I just wanted to scoot you over a little bit. All right, so you can turn the seatbelt chimes off if you want. Um, if I do it, it'll probably only be for the driver's side because sometimes when I'm driving around job sites or something like that, um, you know, I don't want to listen to that, so... Um, so we're going to go here, IPC module. Hit play. So this looks a little bit different than the other one. Chimes. We can always 
always change that. And of course, all the clicking and ticking and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's open the door. Oh, I mean, it does come in here and tell you the driver door is ajar, but I mean, that's cool. That's no big deal. Now, <clears throat> let's try it with a truck running because that was another thing. Um, you know, with a truck running, it would do it. Oh, it doesn't do it either. Well, that's pretty fantastic. All right, let's look at some other stuff. I'm turn this off. Um, I, I do want to do the tire pressure thing, but as of right now, it's not a it's not a huge deal to me. What was the other stuff we wanted to do? Oh, here we go. Navigation in motion. Because that's the one we were having issues with that we couldn't get it to do its thing here. So... So for now, let's, oh, we're going to scroll this back up because we're going to stop this. We're going to go here. And we're going to go back to the APIM. APIM as built. Play. Or run. Whatever. Oh, back to HS. Seven D zero two zero one. Yeah, because this one we had zero one zero three is what it was. Because it was uh oh shoot F four seven. Hey, make sure you don't fat finger this stuff, guys. Because I got fat fingers, so it happens. So this, see, this is a new update. So this is 5753, and right now we're 5553. So we're going to take that 5 out at a 7. And then we're going to write. Now, obviously, the only way we can check that is if we're, is if we're moving. So let's get our navigation on menu. Come on. Oh, maybe search. Cancel. Language set to English. Oh, that's good. Um, and so normally when you're in the search bar, this right here. If you're driving down the road, if it picks up any speed that you're driving, what happens is it automatically grays out and it won't let you type in any information in here. So let's see what happens. And of course, it's probably going to ding at me because I don't have my seatbelt on. Okay. That's my laptop is sliding all over the place. Look, nothing's grayed out. We're going about 10 miles an hour. And, and I can search. All right, so that's good. All right, let me get back to the house. All right, good deal. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and disable that um, that that beeping or that tone um, for, the, uh, for the driver's seat belt because... I mean, I drove from here to that field. That's three houses down, and this thing is going ding, 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 ding. I'm like, okay, come on now. I'm going three miles an hour, five miles an hour. You're you're going a little nuts here. All right, so we're gonna stop. Go back to configuration, and this is the IPC. So the IPC as built run okay back to ms oh. ok 
Okay. And then we are going to find driver's door or chimes driver's seat belt minder. We're going to disable that and then we'll try to find edit driver's side seat belt key and ignition reminder. hearing that beep country code u.s best country in the world united states of america yeah i've got uh i've got some stuff coming um should be here tomorrow um that i saw off of a guy's um youtube channel coltsway if you guys haven't seen any of his stuff and you're a power stroke guy some of these newer six seven power strokes go to coltsway i'll link his page up here somewhere um the dude cracks me up he is a great great man um you know with his content the way that he talks the way that he acts just he's he seems to be a very personable person um would be a great guy to get to know so i believe he's in the louisiana area um so some of you guys may have watched some of his stuff already um i got some stuff coming because of him uh i'm gonna add some more of those lights underneath my truck um for the running boards um and we'll we'll do a video on that one um but uh but yeah anyways uh like i said i'll link his page up here and i'll probably put it in the description below and um as well as i'll put in the description below the cord that i got from amazon um for this um, for this, for this episode. So, um, let's get back over here and let's look at more stuff. This is probably going to be a lengthy video because I mean, why not? You know what? I saw somebody was able to change, um, like the color, like there's, um, ambient light in here and somebody was able to change that had, had the option of changing different colors. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but I mean, if that's, I mean, if that's something that we can do, I mean, they have the option of, of purple. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't like purple? No, I'm just kidding. Purple's a fine color. My wife loves it. My daughter loves it. So I'm good with it. I mean, if they're good with it, I'm good with it. I just don't know if I would want um purple as my my backlighting in my truck just trying to just trying to see a few things see if anything really changed in here on some of that stuff tire pressure i mean that's always been there i think i'm gonna lower that to 55 and 60. digital speedometer transmission temp Oil life, air filter monitor. Air filter is okay. Not time for an oral change. Lane keeping assist. Sensitivity, normal. Well, um, I think that's about it. Um, doesn't look like much of the other stuff that I turned on, you know, like the, uh, air inlet temperature. I don't see that in here anywhere. Um, not that, you know, it, it matters much, but I figured I'd, you know, try to turn it on and, and see if it did anything and, and it didn't. So anyways, um, man, you know what? I hadn't said it. Please like subscribe and share this photo make sure you hit that little bell to let you know when we've got another video coming out i do really really appreciate everyone out there who keeps subscribing to my channel uh we are at the big 921 so we have got what is that 79 subscribers to go before we hit the big 1000 mark um not that a, a thousand 
is a big number in the grand scheme of things, but um, it's a it's a cool little milestone to hit, um, you know, and then obviously keep growing from there. So um, we're gonna have more videos on um, my trimmer, Earl is what we're gonna call him, Earl. It is a magnetic gray 2020 trimmer. I'm gonna name him Earl. Uh, I'm not a coffee guy. I'm a tea guy, and one of the teas that everybody seems to have is Earl Gray. The truck is magnetic gray. Earl just seemed to fit. So we'll have some videos uh, upcoming on this with some other products um, that we're getting ordered. Um, don't tell my wife. We're in the process of buying a house. She doesn't want me ordering stuff. However, I have a feeling I just gave it away. Anyways, it'll be fine. Doesn't really matter. And then we've got um, some stuff that we need to do to um, my other truck, Snowflake, right there. Um, we've got more projects for her that we need to get done, um, including electric fuel, uh, which I already have. I've had that for about a year. Just I just haven't put it in. Um, I need to. I, I want to replace the battery cables in that um, because I still have some starting issues sometimes. And it doesn't seem like the the post connectors, the battery connectors, just don't seem to get tight enough. So I'm gonna go get some shims to see if that'll work, you know, for now. But I do want to upgrade and get better quality um, cables, ground cables, power cables, all of that kind of stuff. If you guys don't mind, put in the link down below what you guys would use, uh, or if you guys use anybody specifically. Um, to to make or that have the um those battery cables so anyways guys again appreciate you watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you guys next time peace